Hello, welcome to a slightly different version of this week's Acker, sponsored by Skybet Acker Freeze. As you can tell, it's just Tom this week saying that there isn't really a podcast for you on this Monday. We've hit a bit of an injury crisis combined with suspensions. You could say that it's an international call-ups as well that we've had to postpone the fixtures. However, we didn't want to leave you with nothing in your podcast feed or through our YouTube channel if you're watching that way. So it's just a little message saying that there's no big podcast today, but if you were looking for something for the midweek action, I'll quickly be running through a few of my picks. Another quick note to say there, head to sportandlife.com forward slash football for our main match previews and insight for the Champions League on Tuesday and Wednesday. Of course, there'll be stuff for the Europa League on Thursday as well. And I'll be honest, I didn't really like the result prices a great deal, so perhaps Jimmy and Jacob made the right choice in missing this episode. However, what I do like is that there is potential for goals. So I've put together an over two and a half goals fourfold for you to consider. A quick note on that weekend, Acker then. We'll discuss it fully in on Thursday's episode, I should say, but one goal away. Ipswich's 2-2 draw away at Birmingham was the only result that let us down, but to be fair to them, it's probably a good point in the end. So close, so here's hoping for a winner next time out when we discuss our Acker. On to the over two and a half goals, fourfold then I've got for you. Two from the Champions League, and I'll start with Lazio v Feyenoord. Third versus first in this group. A 3-1 win for Feyenoord when these two met just a couple of weeks ago. Of course, we're now into the reverse fixtures in European competition. But the thing that stood out to me in that game, obviously the goals, but the amount of good chances that there were in that contest. Nine shots on target in that one. And if you backed over two and a half goals in Feyenoord's recent competitive away games, it would have been a winner more often than not. Six of their last seven away competitive away games this season, I should say, have seen over two and a half goals. So Lazio v Feyenoord there. Over to what is pretty much a heavyweight clash between two big clubs in Europe. Milan versus PSG, fourth versus first, I should say, in that what is the group of death in the Champions League. A 3-0 win to PSG when these two sides met recently. Over two and a half goals has landed in each of PSG's last six games. Hardly a surprise when you consider the attacking strength of that side. But they've conceded in five of their last six away games too. So potential for goals there. And if you watch Milan against Newcastle in their only home European game so far this season, they probably should have scored in that game. The amount of chances they saw there, yet it was a nil-nil draw. So taking... Milan versus PSG alongside Lazio v Feyenoord as well in the Champions League. And then two from the Skybet League 1 action that may have kind of slipped under the radar a little bit with all the Champions League games, but there are a few to go at. The first of which, it's a risky one, but it is one that I feel it's got a good chance if the game plays out um, as we hope. And that's Shrewsbury against Bolton, 18th versus 3rd in England's third tier. It's a good place, though, to go to add some value to this fourfold. Bolton are a team that I think the one thing that's caught the eye is how quickly they can start games. They score very early. They are regularly scoring in the first half of games. They've had a goal inside the opening 20 minutes in three of their last four. A few games in there as well, seeing them score two in the first half as well. If they can keep that pattern going of scoring early, the game opens up. Shrewsbury, who, okay, there are some issues in scoring, but the initiative or the emphasis is on them to start attacking. It could open that game up. So it does add a bit of value at near even money on over two and a half goals here. So Shrewsbury versus Bolton. And then joining them, Wigan versus Peterborough, 19th versus 4th. Although Wigan's position a false one because of that points deduction. They should be sitting around 10th in the table. I have said previously on podcasts, avoid Peterborough. However, we're not talking about results this time. We're talking about goals. And I'm pretty confident in their game seeing at least three or more regularly. Typically, plenty of action. Three or more goals scored in four of their last five games in all competitions. And both teams have scored in 53% of Peterborough's league games this season. That jumps up to 62% in away games, 60% for Wigan. That's 57% in home games. So some stats there just to back it up. But effectively, we're fancying this game to see plenty of goals. So the fourfold, over two and a half fourfold for Tuesday's action. Lazio v Feyenoord, Milan v PSG, Shrewsbury versus Bolton and Wigan versus Peterborough. That fourfold just at 8.89 to 1 at the time of recording. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, of course, on the YouTube or under the podcast links through Sporting Life Football social media channels. 
And as ever, remember, keep it fun. Never bet more than you can afford. It's 18 plus. Please gamble responsibly. We'll be back with a proper episode of the podcast on Thursday. One thing we've all got in common is having that one leg of an acker let us down. From spending your winnings in your head to cursing that last minute equaliser that broke your heart. But it doesn't have to be that way. Acker Freeze from Skybet gives you the power to freeze a winning score early. Even if that team goes on to lose, Skybet will settle it as a winner. It's time to take action. It's time to Acker Freeze and end the game your way. Visit skybet.com for full terms and conditions.